I was thinking earlier today, I was in the kitchen doing my oatmeal, doing my green tea, squeezing lemon in it, all that shit. And I was, (laughs) that's dope. And I was thinking about how as boys, we see women and how as men and as we grow older, how we see women, we don't see women as women for a very long time as, as guys, we see our mom who happens to be a woman. Mm -hmm. So in our mind, like woman is mom, like mom is, you know, making food for us, cooking for us, providing for us, putting band-aids on us when we get scrapes and cuts. So for us, that's a woman. A woman is mom. And then after that, I mean, now there's more male teachers. When we were growing up, it was, we had mostly all female teachers. Right, right. So now a woman isn't necessarily a woman and all that a woman encompasses, but a woman is the teacher. A woman is... You know, the if cook. the cook, the right. the cafeteria lady, the cleaner. the cleaner, and then we get older, right? And then we have these like sexual like fantasies and connections to women. So now the woman is, you know, the mom type, the teacher type, the lunch lady type, and now the sexual type. Like those, like those are the things that we're looking at a woman for, mm-hmm. right? And then as you get older, you realize as we're growing and maturing, they're growing and maturing and, and into their womanhood. And then you come across that woman that requires you to look at her as a woman, as like a woman right. in, 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 in the one who in, commands the respect that commands the respect that or holds the, the attention that yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. challenges you to, to give a new form of respect challenges you to look at women totally different. Yeah. You know, this woman is not going to clean up after you. She's not your mom. <laughs> like this woman's yeah. not going to cook everything. For but you. I want you though. She's. Not, not, I don't want you so to do it. Yeah, but yeah, I want yeah. you. So how do I? How exactly? How, how do I reconcile yeah, yeah, yeah. that? Also, how do I reconcile? I, clean? I like you, and I want to spend time with you. Yeah. So now maybe we should clean together. So maybe we should do this stuff together so yeah, that yeah, yeah. you know you're not you don't feel like you're just like taking care of me. Right. We're taking care of each other. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And then. As, as you continue to get older, like women just like require more out of you, which is which is dope, which is great. And which makes you have to look at them as more than just, you know, that figure as the mom or the lunch lady or the teacher. But this is a person that has their own like different like wants and needs and desires mm-hmm. and is looking for a partner. So then ultimately, if like if you're a guy that's learning from these different experiences, you reach this point where... You are not just looking as women in these roles, but you're looking at women as as people. You know what I'm saying? As people that will want the same things as you, same desires as you, um, same goals as you, and you do your best to be a great partner to her by helping out with all the other stuff that we just talked about, helping out with the cleaning, with the cooking, mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. the, you know, deciding, with making financial decisions, with chores, with different responsibilities and different things like that. And I feel like that's the... That's like the development, it's hopefully. That's part of the, part of the, the growth, maturity yeah. process. I feel like, and I think I can speak to just from the point of what, and you can speak to it too, what relationships do is they challenge you. Whether you've had a, a, a shitty relationship or a great relationship, and it, it, it's, no, it's no longer t- you know something that you're in right now, you learn something from that about yourself, mm-hmm. Um, about somebody else, about how you handle situations and how you handle others. So part of the maturity process is to go through a phase where you're like, okay, cool. Like this woman is somebody that now I have to learn how to coexist with, how to um, be there where I can provide for her and she can provide for me, for my wants and needs and also for her wants and needs. And then you learn, you learn and then you adjust and that, and that, and then, you take that onto your next relationship and then you learn from there and you and you try new things and you apply it and then you make corrections and you adjust more so that mm-hmm. by the time you get into a relationship where we feel like everyone's equipped with the right amount of tools needed for a relationship, now you guys can put those tools together and see how partnership could really work, how you could really leverage each other in, in needs. And that's how it really should go, you know? It should. And then that last, I feel like once you get to that, like that hopefully like once you get to that last ultimate relationship of that person that you're going to be with from you know now until you're you know, like both gray um is coming up against some of those same obstacles that you did in previous relationships i'm not talking about the extreme shit i'm not talking about like lying and infidelity and abuse and shit like that uh i'm talking about just like maybe just like the regular stuff like of insecurities or um you know not enough time not enough quality time not enough um 
you know, consideration, once you come across those situations, like finding ways and using different things that you've learned in your past to get through that right. and, and fight through that, where in previous situations, it, you may have just folded or right. the other person may have just folded. Yeah.